Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Stranded Sails, Explorers of the Cursed Islands. Today we're going to start an adventure on an island, but not quite yet. We're going to meet our father, who's the captain of a ship, until we get shipwrecked and have to build our own city and colony to survive out at sea. It's good to see you all here, so thanks for dropping by. For those of you who are interested, if you want to see a full playthrough, make sure you click or tap destroy, blow up, and uh, extend your love to that like button. And let me know you want to see more. Thanks for dropping by and uh, dropping a sub and everything else. We're going to go ahead and get started with a new game here today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete my old save game. I just tried for about, look, two minutes or so with a fake character. But today we're starting for real. That was just practice. So let's get rid of that and let's begin a new adventure here in Stranded Sails. I am a male who is named Dino Man. Or Raptor, I guess, in this case. So glory to Raptoria as we uh, build Raptoria out at sea. And let's go. Here we go. Good music. Really like this game so far, I must say. I love the art style and everything else. Ah, hello, world. Today is a big day. You're going on a great adventure on a voyage to the other side of the big ocean to a place full of wild forests and frozen glaciers. You also have a weird dream last night about uh, an exotic island and a talking parrot and a shipwreck washed ashore. Could it have meant something? Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, a note from our father. We should read it. All right, let's go over to the dresser and grab that note. Uh, let's see. Good morning, my child. I hope you had a good sleep and are well rested for our great journey. The crew and I are already making preparations at the docks. Please come as soon as you can. We would not want to leave without you. P.S. I left you a backpack as a late birthday present. I packed it with some essentials for the journey. Make sure you bring it with you. P.P.S. Don't bother with any of our furniture. The furniture owners will surely want to keep them. All right, fair enough. All right, let's grab the backpack and let's meet dear old dad down at the docks. Grab that thing here. I'm wearing like a bandana. That's kind of weird. I wish I was wearing like a cool hat or something if we're going to be on a, you know, a sailor. All right, let's leave. There could be hidden items or whatnot, but let's get on our adventure. So we got to walk through town. It's an absolutely beautiful game. A lot of people really should check, uh, check this game out. I hope they do because this really looks beautiful and has a lot of love to it. And it's a game that uh, feels a little bit like... Um, or at least already, I should say. Look, like Stardew Valley meets a few other building survival games. We've certainly tried a few games before where we've washed up on an island during a storm. But this one's a little different, so we'll see exactly how it is. Look at that water. Beautiful. Very good graphics and everything. So obviously we're like in, uh, I don't know, merry old England or somewhere in Europe. And we're about to uh, crash land. Somewhere what seems to be in the Pacific, interestingly enough. Ah, oh, there's our father now. All right. Hi, Charles. <coughs> Ahoy, Raptor, my child. It's great to see you. I hope that last night uh, the old bed was a good one. A strange dream, you say? How precarious. Well, don't think about it too much. <laughs> when I was young, I had a lot of weird dreams, too. I look forward to our great voyage. The snow-covered mountains for us on the far side of the ocean. Are you ready for this grand adventure? Yeah! <gasps> ha! Great to see you as excited as I am. We're almost ready to leave. Please, my child, bring your backpack to our cabin and return to me. I have one last task before we can set sail. All right, let's get to it. We'll put our bed in this giant ship and figure out whatever the captain wants us to do next. All right, all done. Oh, there he is. Hello. <coughs> Great. Now we have everything except for one very important thing. We need a barrel of apples from the warehouse behind the ship. What would you do on such a long voyage without some juicy apples to keep us fresh? Also, uh, be so kind to load one of the barrels onto the ship. All right, very good. Let's do it. Wow, a lot of people coming to say bye. Hi, everyone. Okay. I'm leaving. All right, let's go grab that barrel of apples. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. All right. Wow, that's going to be a long haul. What are we going to do? Roll this thing? Oh, wow, we're just carrying it. That's a champion right there. That's awesome. I'm surprised he's not standing on it and just, like, you know, walking it over by rolling it. But this should do. All right, almost there. Oh, wow, everyone's on the ship already. I'm like the last one on board. All right, here I am. That's where we obviously unload it, and we're good to go. All right, let's talk to Charles. Let's pull out. <coughs> Thank you for loading the barrel, my child. Now everything is prepared, and we are ready to leave. Let me inform the crew. All hands on deck. Prepare to lift anchor. Raptor, it is time. Cut the line so we're able to leave the city once and for all. Once and for all, what, we're, like, leaving permanently? Okay. All right, let's cut the lines then. One, two, three. I better leave that one. Where's the fourth one? Is it back here? 
Where's line number four? I only see three of them. I want to make sure I'm able to jump on the ship before we leave. Uh, must be at the front of the ship then. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's pull out. An anchor's not up though. Nobody, nobody raised the anchor. Uh, I did what you asked. <coughs> Thank you, my child. Fritz and Logan are preparing to lift the anchor. Please. You are light and nimble. Perfect for uh, fit tasks for up on the mast. Would you climb the rigging and lower the sails? Start with the sail behind me and work your way to the front. All right, fair enough. All right, let's grab the... Uh, there we go. Get on the rigging. Drop sails. Perfect. All right, so they're getting ready to raise the anchor. Well, this is really cool. Very interactive. we got a lot to do. There we go. All right, sail number two is down. Is there a sail above? Wait, there might be a sail up above. Let's make sure. Oh, yep, looks like there's one up there. Possibly. Oh, okay. It all came down together. So there's two sails, but we only had to open the one. Okay. Come on up. There we go. I thought we'd have to go up top and open that one, but there was a two-for-one deal. It was on sale. You get it? Ha-ha! I said, ha-ha! Thank you. Hi, Logan. The sooner we leave this city, the better. All right. That one's just kind of waiting for me now. How do I get up here? There we go. All right. All done. Talk to Charles. Why does it keep going back up there? There we go. Okay. Let's go talk to the captain and get rolling. <clears throat> Thank you, my child. Let's say forever to this gray and narrow city. Soon we'll be on the high seas, sailing towards our destination into a better future for each of us. A life full of opportunities. Cool. That was easy. Oh, I can walk around. Cool. Hi there. Hmm... It's nice to see you, my dear. <laughs> I'm glad we're leaving the city for good. <gasps> I'm really curious about what kind of new fish we can catch here. Oh, okay. Hey! I'm excited to finally leave the city. Off to an unknown land. Cool. Oh, I guess we gotta talk to Charles now. Alright. Hello? <clears throat> Ahoy, my child. The weather's looking good. We seem to be on the right course. There's not much to expect, but enjoy the breeze. A great opportunity to, for you to learn more about the crew. They would love to talk to you. Please, my child, be kind to visit each of them for a small chat. Oh, we're already halfway done with that. Fiola. Hello, Raptor. The weather is glorious, right? Salty breeze and blazing sun are just perfect. After losing my farm to the factories from the city. Ah, okay, so she's our farmer, so we'll be working with her as soon as we uh, go down. I'm excited to, for the chance to start over somewhere else. Glad to have met you on board. Okay, so we've got our farmer. This is probably our industrialist, somebody who can oh. build items. Good day, it's nice to see you around here with uh, with us on this adventure. I really miss swinging my hammer. The melody of steel, hitting steel, sparks flying in the heat of the forge. One day I'll be back at it. The forge, most delicate tools and weapons. I would even try it on the ship. I'm not sure your father would throw me over the railing. All right, so there's like our, uh, our mechanic. Oh. Oop. Let's go ahead and ch chat with you, ma'am. Ma'am? <sighs> Hello, my dear. It's nice to see you. Looking forward to our time on the ship. Uh, silence only interrupted with the sounds of wind and waves. It's really relaxing. I'll knit you some warmer clothes once we arrive. Ah, okay. There's our tailor then. Very good. All right, ma'am. I got it. Don't need to know the whole backstory. Hey! Just want to know what you guys are good at. Let's see. Ship is a beauty. Can you feel how smooth it rides the waves? Master of his craft. Be able to create a masterpiece one day. Not exactly sure what that means. Are you a writer? Uh, let's see. What's up? Blazing sun, man. I hope this doesn't burn my dome. <laughs> I don't want to damage any of my gray matter from the sunstroke. I was wondering if you could keep the ship speed while swimming. Definitely too risky for me to try. Oh, and this must be the fisherman, because he was talking about fish earlier. Okay, that makes sense. All right, this must be our chef, Cecile. Okay, we're going to skip a lot of this for now, because I really want to get to the uh, to the island and stuff. All right, so that's our chef. Now, where's Logan? Let's see. We talked to him before. Ah, here he is. What is that green thing on his head? A leaf? Is that a leaf? Just about as much room as there was in the s on the boat as there was in the city. First thing I'll do is find a remote spot to build a shack and enjoy the freedom. So he's like our shack builder? Okay. He builds houses, maybe. 
<clears throat> Ahoy, my child. I see you're getting along with everyone in the crew. That's great. Even Cecile would want to talk to you once more we arrive. Excellent. Oh. Uh-oh. What was that? A colorful bird. I don't see it anymore. It must have landed somewhere on the ship. Check it out. Okay. Oh, it's not on the masts. Okay. Where did he go? Let's try the, uh, let's try the rigging. Is he in the, uh, crow's nest? No? Can I go up any higher? Oh, it doesn't look like I can do it. Okay. Gotta be somewhere. Music is good. Ah, get back on that rigging, boy. He's gotta be in the crow's nest then, right? There he is. I see you. Ah, this is the bird. It's a parrot. It reminds me of a bird I saw in my dream right before we left the city, although this one doesn't seem to talk. It looks at me curious and excited. Something happened. It beats its wings and becomes agitated. Oh great, suddenly a storm. Go, go, go! <laughs> Hard to control him with the map moving all around. Come on! Go talk to Charles! Ahoy, my child. Have you managed to get a hold of the bird? It flew away. I'm not sure why, as you notice the weather has taken a turn for the worse. The bird flew off somewhere, which means it must have landed nearby. That would be the good news, if we weren't supposed to see land in about two weeks. I hope we don't go off course somewhere along the way. Also, the storm is gathering right above us makes me very anxious. Quick! Seek out shelter in the cabin. All right, I'm on it. Oh, down, down one level. All right. The storm intensifies trying to tear the ship apart. Powerful waves toss it around like a nutshell. Planks are creaking, ready to burst. Finally, the ship crashes against something massive, and blackness prevails. Well, that was the uh, anticlimactic uh, <laughs> shipwreck, I suppose. Ah, uh, now the game truly begins. Ah, what happened? The last thing you can remember is you falling, then breaking through the waves. You're so exhausted. What might have happened to your father and the crew? should investigate the island. Maybe you can find them. All right, it begins. Stranded Survivor, our first time playing. So obviously an energy bar up here. Search the island for other survivors. Okay. So we'll eventually get to build like a city here. We'll be able to fish and make food and uh, maybe go out and uh, explore other smaller islands. Oh, here we go. We found somebody. Oh, there's the crate of apples. Talk to Sven. Hey, how hey. do? Hey. Hey. So I was right to see you laying over there. Sorry if I didn't help you. I almost just got up myself. I'm sure you noticed this as well, but wherever we are, it doesn't seem like a place we're setting out for. A little too top tropical for a snow-covered tundra. Damn, I'm dizzy. My head feels like a cracked walnut. You don't look so good either. You should eat. You should eat an apple. You'll feel better. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, landlubber. You look like a lot better now. Told you the apple would help. Good thing we took a barrel with us. Always be aware of your energy. I wouldn't want you to pass out in the middle of nowhere. My head still hurts. I guess something hit me when we crashed. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just like you, I have no clue what happened to the others. I can see a big part of our beautiful ship stranded on the island next to us. Our best bet is to find others would be to get over there and check it out. We should try building a raft to get across the deep water. I'll gather some of the shredded planks around here. Can you look for other stuff we need? We need a sail, a mast, and something to tie it all together. I'm sure you'll find something useful in all the clutter. All right, so now we got to go travel to another smaller island. Cool. So we need to find a sturdy rope, a sail, and a mast. Okay. Well, there, there's one of our things, a rope. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. A sail and a broken mast. Well, there would be our mast. Oh, is that the sail there? That looks like planks of wood to me. All right, there's our sail. And there's our mast. It still says zero, but I'm assuming that's because we got to bring it back. Oh, there's the front end of the ship. Wow, she took some big damage. Broken mast, quest item. The mast is shattered, but the wood is still usable. All right. I found the other things, though. I found the sail and the, the rope, didn't I? I don't see any other rope around. 
Oh, I have to pick it up after kind of gathering it. Oh, okay. Must be a part of the ship's sail. Okay, got it. So we'll just walk back over the item. So first it's kind of like he's got to gather it into an item. And then he can bring it with us. Okay, that makes sense. Hello, crab. Goodbye, crab. Is that a turtle? Or a crab? Probably a turtle. Sven, I got everything we need. Oh, let me grab an apple. I'm kind of hungry. There we go. Hi, Sven. <laughs> hey, landlubber. Great to find you've got all the parts. Oh, man, my head hurts. I can barely see straight. I think we better, we're better. we better off with you assembling the raft. Don't want it to look all crooked and such. I put some rough instruction in the pile of planks. I'm sure you'll figure out how to put the thing together. Oh, cool. Oh, we get to build. You found all the items necessary to build the raft. To build the raft, you need the following items. Sturdy rope, torn sail. Oh, we got it. We're good. Oh, look at him go. Yeah. All right, come on, Sven. We're getting out of here. And grab an apple, too. You look like you need it. Hey! Oi, landlubber. That's a fine-looking raft you built there. I hope it's not just because my R's aren't working. Let's see if the thing is solid enough to carry us to the other side. Jump on the raft, and we're off. What does this key mean? Oh, quest items. Okay. Well, we got that all done. I'm going to grab another apple before we go. Sven, you want anything? There we go. We're maxed out. Perfect. All right, come on, Sven. We're going. Are you ready to leave? I guess. <laughs> oh, my. What a ride. Your raft sure wasn't the sturdiest, but at least we made it. Although the journey didn't do my head any good. I think I'll stay here for a while and try to recover. You find the crashed part of our beautiful ship? Maybe there's something or someone left. I'll be right here if you need me. All right. Let's find the shipwreck now. No apples here, though, so we're going to have to find some more food later. All right. Oh, there's a giant crate. Is that it? Oh, that looked like a crate there. It's just a giant square uh, stone, I guess. Explore the beach to find the shipwreck. Well, we kind of found the shipwreck at the uh, other side. It was the front of the ship, at least. So our ship absolutely got destroyed. Oh, run faster. Left shift, hold to sprint. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, we're already here. Enter the shipwreck. Oh, there's some people. Hi there. <laughs> Fiola. Oi. I'm happy to see you. I'm glad you're okay. We were really worried about you and the rest of the crew. I've managed to only hurt my arm a little, but your father, Charles, was badly hurt during the storm. Oh, no. Oh, this is father. I didn't recognize him without the hat. Ahoy! Ouch! Ahoy, my child. It warms my heart to see you alive and well. Our, ex un our unexpected misadventure could only hope for your well-being. I was a little worried of, of our course when we were on the high seas, and it seems like there was a reason for it. The place we stranded on does not look like a frigid landscape we wanted to end up in. Well, I think we should least that should be the w least of our worries right now. It seems like the crew has been split up, and as you see, I have not emerged unscathed from this unfortunate event either. Don't worry, my old bones have seen worse. A few days of recovery, and I'll be back on my feet. Fiola will make sure of that. Oh, have you brought Sven with you? It's great to hear. I'm sure sooner or later we'll have the whole crew re reunited. You look tired, which is no surprise. You've earned yourself a good nap. Use the other bed to get some rest. Don't worry, Fiola will take care of Sven and me. Uh, restore energy, go to sleep. Oh, okay, that's a good way to get the energy. All right, taking a little nap. Oh, now it's nighttime, great. Uh, wake up, right there. Got it. Very nice. Uh, talk to Charles, okay? Hello? <coughs> Hi, my child. You you look well rested. Sleeping will restore some of your energy. Whenever you feel exhausted, you should eat or take a nap. It seems like we are stuck on this island for a while. Before looking for the others, we have to make sure that we can survive here. We will need room to live and a steady source of food. I sent Viola to check on the surrounding area. It seems to be usable as a campsite. She'll be looking for unstable, a uh, usable farming ground here, too. Would you mind and go see if you can help her with anything? I'm not sure if she's able to do the hard work with that arm of hers. Although this is not an actual goal of our great voyage, I'm certain that everything will be fine in the long run. If we stick together, anything is possible. We'll be able to leave this place and reach our final destination. I'm sure of that. Go now. Help Fiola with the first step of our endeavor and meet her at the campsite. All right, find the farmer. Use the path plateau close to the shipwreck to get to the campsite. Oh, right here? Well, that's interesting. We immediately crash, and everybody's first thought is, well, we got to start farming. No other way. Also, uh, I think we could stay in the ship rather than going to a campsite. Oh, hi there. Is that Sven? That's not Sven. <laughs> it is Sven. Hey, landlubber. Fiona picked me up at the beach. It's great to see her again. She's waiting for you over in the field. Uh, she said she found a good spot to establish a camp. Talk to her. I'm sure she has something for you to do. All right, well, good to see Sven is here. Quest items, nothing. All right. Hi there. Fiona. 
Hiya! I'm up since the first sunlight. I'm so excited. Even this is not raw wilderness we set out for, I'm just happy to start stand on a field again. Seems like we'll be staying on this island for a while. This means we need farming ground a steady source of food. Unfortunately, I can't set myself up for it because of my arm. I was able to salvage some of the tools we brought with us from the beach. They'll come in handy with our new enterprise. Would you mind helping me with the farming the ground? I promise uh, that you'll feel good after a long day of work with your bare hands. The sun warms your skin and fresh breeze freshens your hair. Sounds wonderful, right? Ha. It's good that there's someone like you that I can count on. Please take this shovel, use it to prepare new fields so that we can plant some corn. I fenced off some of the fertile ground for you already. Keep in mind that digging is hard work and costs a lot of energy. Heavy shovel. First tool. Open the tool selection. And give it... Okay. Got it. And don't get exhausted. All right. Run faster. Let's get some of these icons off the screen. Let's do some of the things they tell us to do. Check your inventory. That's with B. Uh, select your shovel. Got it. Uh, quick select. Oh, you can just roll up and down. Okay. All right. So now we have a shovel. Uh, tab to open our hands or shovel. Uh, tab to open the equipment selection. Oh, this is cool. Wow, this is very intricate. There's a lot to do here. This, there's some goodness to this game. Approach the farming ground and select the shovel and use the shovel. Okay, there we go. Uh, prepare fields, one of three. So do I just have to dig three random holes? I guess so. Maybe that'll magically make the uh, field prepared, I guess. I don't know. Woohoo! This marks the first step of establishing our own little cam. Now it's time for you to sow the first seeds. Luckily, I managed to keep some of the seeds during the shipwreck. Here, take the corn seeds. They'll feed us once they're ready to harvest. Sow them on the fields when you're prepared. Very cool. All right, let's drop that off then. So where's the seeds? Ah, there they are. Does it, like, auto-target? Ah, perfect. One corn. Two corn. Three corn. Great job. It looks like you have a green thumb. The next thing to do is water the sprouting crops. Take this bucket. You can use it to gather fresh water from the spring over there. Carry the filled bucket to your crops and water them. Well, that's lucky that we found an actual uh, spring. All right, so where is the spring? Also, why is there light around there? She Apparently, she started a fire, too. Ah, this is the spring here. Perfect. All right, uh, let's see. Select your bucket. So we'll go back to tools, bucket, and then how do we fill that? Just left click. Ah, there it goes. All right, we got it. I'm coming. I wonder if it's uh, one water per crop. Probably didn't do this very efficiently, but eventually I'm sure we'll have the whole field filled with different crops. Uh, one at a time there, buddy. There we go. Okay, looks like it's done. All right, Fiola, we're done. Well done. Always remember, your crops will grow and ripen for as long as they have water. If the soil below them looks dry, they need more water. Most crops can go a few days without it, but they'll die if you don't take care of them for too long. Now, all we can do is wait for the corn to ripen so we can harvest it. Use this time to set up a cooking station. And also, we need something for the rest of us, but we'll take care of that later. Sen told me you're a talent in building things. That's great. Would you help me again in setting up a cooking station? I made a list of things that we need for a proper kitchen. I've seen many of the utensils we brought with us scattered around the beach. I'm sure you'll find those things we need down there. Just explore a little bit. I'll prepare the foundation of the cooking station while you're searching. Oh, good. Now we got to go find items again. Okay, so gather one cooking pot, kitchen utensils, and roasting pan. All right. Uh, explore the beach east of the shipwreck. Oh, that's this way, then. All right. Let's speed it up, then. Bum, bum. Uh, yes, we can get down here. Hi, Sven. Bye, Sven. Bum, bum, bum. The music is great. The art style is wonderful. There's a little bit more reading in the game than, you know, is needed, I think. But it's fine to kind of establish characters and such. All right, there's that pot we needed. Fantastic. All right. Cooking pot acquired. Now we just need kitchen utensils and a roasting pan. This looks like it's probably the utensils here. Excellent. There's the kitchen utensils. And there's our roasting pan up here. Perfect. Wow, this is just like the tutorial of the game. There's a lot of, there's a lot of meat to this game. I love it. No, Raptor, you're making corn. All right, fair enough. All right, build the cooking station. Use the path up the plateau close to the shipwreck to get to the campsite. And then we'll start building that uh, cooking station. All right. So I wonder how we get things advanced later in the game. I'm sure uh, we'll probably have to find some of these things uh, around the islands. This probably seems like it'll be our final island. 
or at least our uh, first stop for a while as we're actually building a farm. It'll take a few days for some of that stuff to get started. All right, let's print, and let's start building. All right, here's the instructions. You found all the items necessary to build the cooking station. To build the station, you'll need the following. All right, we got all that stuff. Go! I love how we build stuff. Awesome. All right, talk to Fiola. Hi, Fiola. Wow, the cooking station looks great. Great job. You only need some produce to cook with. Check on your crops and harvest them if they're ripe. If not, you have to kill some time. You could explore the beach further, but be careful not to go too far away. You might get lost like the others, and I wouldn't want to lose you. Well, I'm sure these are not ready. Let's see. Harvest your corn. Three out of three. Uh, this is clearly not ready. Explore the island or go to sleep or talk to Farmer Field and wait for your crops to ripen. Uh, let's explore, I guess. Especially up here, because this seemed like a pretty important spot. But it looks like there's just the spring. And then... Can we go down here further? Oh, okay. It's just... Okay, so it's just this upper spot here. Not, nothing too fancy. Let's talk to Sven for a second. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So he has the same thing to say as before. We could dig some more holes, but we got to wait. So let's just take a nap then, I suppose. We'll wait till daytime so we can explore. I guess it'll be good for us. We'll be able to harvest the crops, make some food, and then go explore all at once. Hi, Dad. <coughs> uh, I already did. Good night. All right. Little nap -a Wow, we didn't really recover much energy from that at all. Now let's go see if the corn is ready for harvest. Well, finally, a morning. Oh, they're not ready yet. Almost. Almost. All right, let's go explore. Oh, Sven, you finally got your fire up. Good for you. All right, let's go look around. Turtle. So I guess anything that's important maybe will be flashing. I don't think we can pick up rank, just like random planks and stuff. Let's go explore as quick as possible. Narrow pass here. Hmm. Is there anything we can eat? I don't think we can eat those. Okay. Those look like flowers, but they could also have a fruit or something. Hmm. Oh, there's nothing on this island. All right, we got to be careful. We're almost, almost out of energy. Oh, wait a minute. There's something valuable here. Oh, good. New item discovered. Crop seeds for tomatoes. Beautiful. And we got some extra food that we can eat, too. Crop ingredient. Excellent. Perfect. Well, let's see if we can eat now. Crop seeds. How do I eat exactly? B? Ah, there we go. Yeah. Grab some of those. Uh, let's see. Oh, they can be prepared for super rich sauces. Oh, so we can't eat them raw. We have to uh, cook them. Ah, more. Excellent. And what about out here? Nope. Okay. I shouldn't have sprinted. Uh, cost quite a bit of energy. All right. Let's head back to the uh, farm. See if we can cook up these tomatoes into a sauce or some sort of tomato soup. And then maybe uh, possibly eat that. And then we'll be able to uh, grow some more crops with the uh, tomatoes seeds that we found. That's good. And we'll harvest the corn too. Maybe we'll actually hit the hay on the way back. So let's do just that. Alright, we made it back. Let's go ahead and take a little nap. Barely made it. Take a little nap here and then go cook some seeds. There we go. Alright, now it's like the uh, mid-afternoon or evening. So now let's go make these... Uh, I guess we could plant the seeds and then make some uh, tomato soup, if we can, anyway. That'll help us out on our adventure. Actually, we can make the uh, tomatoes, too. Oh, we gotta talk to Fiola first. These aren't even ready yet. <laughs> Check on your crops and harvest them if they're ripe. You wanna skip some time? Uh, cancel that for a moment. I'd rather go out and explore, to be honest. Also, I found some new seeds, Fiona. 
All right, let's see if we can plant something here. Hopefully the soil is useful. There we go. And let's pl plant another one. Just plant these at random, I suppose, for now. There we go. Ah, oh, darn, our bucket's empty. Alright, so does the soil turn darker when they need water, or... We'll take a look, I guess. See if we can water these a little bit more. I don't know if they're good or not. Well, I guess that helped. Ah, okay. So when the soil turns a dark color, it does mean that it's moist. That makes sense. Okay. Hi there, Fiona. We are ready to go. Oh, are they finally ready? Oh, good. The tomatoes are looking good, too. Approach a right crop, select hands, and harvest the right crop. Oh, good. This is great. Uh, I can't move, though. Fiona? Hi. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, it looks like the tomatoes are coming along. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Cob of corn. Freshly harvested corn. Sweet and filling. Best roasted with a little bit of butter and salt. Yes. Excellent. I love this game so far. I can tell you what, I'm already going to be playing more of this. This is awesome. The art style is great. Plays wonderfully. I like it. And look, at we got more corn seeds. So how many do we have now? We have two more corn seeds. Beautiful. All right, Fiona. I'm going to go ahead and keep making some more corn for us. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the face with that. Jeez. Wow, he just, like, threw that right in her face. How rude, sir. One and two. Okay, let's go grab some water. It's a good idea to get all this food ready. It seems like this game takes up quite a bit of energy just to run around. Imagine when we're building a house. Do you see that flashing up there? We can cut down trees eventually. I bet we can get up there somehow and cut that down if we find an axe. Beautiful. All right, good. Hi, Fiona. Those cobs look great. Let's see. Love the feeling of holding a cob. What? Ma'am. Are you going to go show me to cook now? Let's do it. Ooh, that looks delicious. Absolutely wonderful. All right, let's go cook. Sven, are you hungry? Select a recipe. Uh... Oh, something, something plus something equals something. All right. Well, let's cook the corn. Um, can I make more than one? I think you got to do it one at a time. All right, we're now cooked. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay, that's enough for now. Wonderful. Check out the food selection. Ah, yeah, that's my favorite section. Mm. Restore your energy. Eat a food item. All right. All right, prepare, left click. Oh, yeah, I know how to do this part. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Fiona, I did it. I did it. I ate food. Can you believe it? Would you also like to eat food? Too bad. All mine. Wow, that barely gives any health. I can smell the deliciousness from here. Tasty food bags. You can be more confident while exploring. If you lack energy, just take a bite. I'm seeing what else you can cook from other ingredients. Find on the ex future exploration. Your father would want to know about your achievements. Go visit him. All right, let's do that. Talk to dear old dad. We'll let for more crops to go, and then we'll take a nap and go explore the island in the morning. Do, 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 do. So it's re the en game is really about energy conservation. Hey, Dad. <coughs> ah, my child. Did it go well with you all at the campsite? Ah, that's extraordinary. You managed setting up a farm ground and a cooking station. I'm proud of you. As a father, it's great to see you grow and succeed. I'm looking forward to what this adventure has in store for all of us, but especially for you. One day you might be able to take care of your own crew. Ouch. My child, I think you <laughs> have to represent me for a little while. The extent of my injuries are larger than I anticipated. I'll manage. I have no worries. Just be need to be there for with the crew while I'm tied to this bed. Take this map. If I'm not mistaken, it represents exactly which island we're on. I found it between my old souvenirs. Don't ask me how I got it. I cannot remember. Use it to navigate the unexplored and quickly return to camp. But please, never leave the camp unprepared. Keep your bags filled with food and use it to stay active on your trips. This island seems to be of enormous size. It's not unlikely that the rest of the crew has been washed ashore. Please, my child, bring back, bring back my crew. Oh, good. Big old map. 
Excellent. All right, cool. Let's uh, take a look at the map if we can. Uh, let's see, tools. Ah, here it is. Uh, let's see, two to select map, left click to open map. Ah, there we go. Whoa, that was cool. Hold on, can I look look around? Oh, there. Oh, oh, only three percent of the game discovered. These two look like one giant map here. Oh wow, so there's many other places to explore. So this must be where we started. Then we took our raft here, and uh, we'll have to explore the northern section. Looks like there's many other sections here. Search for other ex uh, survivors. Search the beast. <laughs> the beach east, I combine the words, east of the shipwreck. Okay, very good. All right. Well, I want to play some more of this game. I think I'm going to hit the hay. If you guys want to see more of this game, uh, definitely click or tap that like button. I'm coming back for a part two. This is awesome. I love this type of game. All the making of food and finding the crew and stuff is great. Don't let the cuteness surprise you or, or turn you off. This, there's a lot to this game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for leaving a like. Thanks for uh, saying hi down below in the comment section. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow for more. Thanks for dropping by, and I'll see you soon.